We want to reset our Polycom um, IP450 phone to factory defaults, but we were running into a snag, and it seems to be an undocumented snag as far as I can tell, so I want to document it here. We started with this video uh, by James uh, Huron, a very nice video that uh, tells us what's supposed to happen, and this is one of the things that gave me some clues onto what I was uh, dealing with here. Also show you how to upgrade so let's look at what things are supposed to look like. Configuration files using the publicly provisioning server. First step, power on your phone, and then you're going to hold down the 1, 3, 5, and 7 keys. Okay, now notice, notice the screen he sees here. I thought I hit pause. Provisioning server. First step, power on your phone, and then you're going to hold down the 1, 3... Look at the, look at the screen. Welcome, nine seconds until auto boot. Remember that, because that was a clue for me figuring this out on my own. Three, five, and seven keys. Press four, five, six. Okay, it goes right to a screen like this. Now, there's two things, there's two things that we're told we can do here by some very standard and uh, repeated documentation online. And uh, that's if you want to reset the Polycom admin def uh, password to default. Our, uh, our admin password was definitely not default, so we needed to reset it. Well, the way to do that is to, um, at that menu, at this menu, excuse me, at this menu right here, don't en enter the admin password. Enter the um, MAC address of the phone, the physical MAC address, the media access control. That's what MAC stands for, not Macintosh. Um, and use lowercase letters uh, when there is when there's an alpha character. All right, but the problem we had is that wasn't working, and I'm going to demonstrate exactly what the what the difference was. Okay, here's some more documentation that we consulted for that. Anyway, this was a clue to what was going on. Now let's let's go over to our phone here and have a look. Now we're going to do exactly what they told us to, and we're going to power off the phone. <clears throat> and reboot. And we're going to hold down 1357. Now notice the first screen we see. It says loading application. It doesn't say so many seconds to auto boot. And the menu buttons down here are different than they were in the video we just watched. Okay. All of this looks a little bit different. But it fools you. It says reset to factory. Well, yeah, that's exactly what we want to do. And it's asking for admin password. But notice how this looks different than that did. And, and the buttons are, the soft buttons are different. Enter, uh, 1AA, and exit. So I thought, great, let's enter the, um, let's enter the MAC address of the phone. So we'll do what we're supposed to be able to do to be able to reset the admin password. And that's to enter the MAC address. I happen to know that the MAC address uh, is 0004F. So we have to change to lowercase, a, a, small a, d, e, f, okay, wait for that to accept, and then uh, 232, so i got to go back to numerics, 232, and then d, c, there's c, then i got to go back to numeric for 7, okay, and then back to small alpha for f. All right, now I've successfully entered the MAC address, and I hit enter. What happens? Nothing. It goes right back to the menu uh, that it would boot to as if I didn't do any of that stuff. This was the point of frustration. Why was the admin password reset not working here, uh, but it was working in the video that I just showed a few moments ago? By trial and error, I figured it out, and we're going to document it here. Watch what I do differently now. I'm going to power reset again. This time, instead of hitting 1357 at this menu, I'm going to hit cancel right here. Okay? Now, notice the uh, so many seconds until auto boot. Now I'm going to hit 1357. This, aha! Now this menu looks more like what I saw in the video. And as it turns out, this is exactly what we needed. 0, 0, 0, 4 and then lowercase, that looks a little bit different, and it doesn't show me the letter here, I have to figure it out, D, E, F, notice it didn't add three there, 
I just hit the button three times. It didn't show me D, E, or F, so I just had to trust that it was doing this right. Now I go back to one, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the numeric mode, and two, three, two, and then go back to small case alpha, uh, D, so I hit the three button once, and then C, I hit the uh, two button three times, A, B, C. Again, it didn't show me, I just had to count. Now we're gonna go back to numeric, seven, and then we're gonna go back to lowercase a, D, E, F. And now that I have that entered, I'm gonna hit okay. Aha, resetting configuration, please wait. This is what it's supposed to do. So the key there was that you were hitting 1357 and holding that down when it's booting to the wrong thing. And I don't see that ever documented anywhere, so beware of the difference in the appearance of the menu at power up so that you know. So I could do the same thing again here if I didn't hit cancel. The point is now I've reset the admin password. So now when I need to go in to configure the phone, it doesn't say, <clears throat> sorry, uh, wrong password, try again at the advanced uh, settings menu. All right, so here it is. It's back to uh, factory defaults. So now I'm free to go to uh, menu and settings and advanced and now it asks for the password and I can enter the default of 456 and it will work. Now I have admin settings and network configuration, line configuration, SIP server configuration, all these wonderful fantastic things that I want. So now it's going to be documented that there is another alternative menu option at the beginning of the IP450 phone on some models for reasons unknown. If anyone has any ideas, I would love for them to leave the comments on this video and I uh, appreciate you watching. So hopefully this helps somebody. Let us know if it helped you. Thank you very much.